Now a small comment on the basic VLOOKUP function. As you remember, we have assigned in the previous lecture the address like this, so we show him where the table starts. So it starts from A4 and ends in with G126, and then we added the, the dollars. There is another way to do it. So we're gonna use it actually without pointing to specific area. So what we can do is put the VLOOKUP as it was, look for the registration plate. Again, we go to the vehicles, but this time, instead of showing him that the table starts from A4 and ends with G126, we're gonna take the whole row, so like this, yeah? So as you can see here, I take the whole table. I can add here the dollars if I, I think I'm gonna be moving it to the right, but if I'm just moving it to down, I don't have to. In our case, I don't have to. So again, the second column and then zero for exact match. As you can see, we have same stuff here. When we can use it, this is a very good option when we would be probably expanding this data set. So if I will be adding new, uh, for example, cars to the data set, then it makes sense actually to do it the, the way I did it. And also it means that I would have to have just one data set per sheet. And this is actually my uh, favorite approach. So I try in most cases to use it this way. So have separate data sheet in a sheet. So I can use this address and then I can add uh, new options and without redoing formula. If I use the, the, the first formula, then I would have to change the address. So if I added one row, then I would have to uh, change the address from 126 to 127. It's up to you which one you're gonna use, but remember to be consistent. So if you use this approach, then the data set should be in a separate sheet.